Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't bite me. Don't bite. <laughs> Come on, cat. I think he's scared of the Oh boy. That's so funny. Say hi. How you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. This is a little pimp right here. Carbon fusion all the way. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's like Let's my little go. nephew. Yes, sir. Okay, eat your bone, I gotta go carve here. Okay, see you see you later family. Okay, so we're uh, back here for another day of wonderful punishment to finish this chair off. I hope. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of detailing in these vines. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to sand them to get all, all the fuzzies off. I'm going to use my Mampa tool to do that. Um, i got to finish off the back of this chair, the flower. By the end of the day, I want to use a C-Tall, okay? Right here. Uh, Pete lent me his uh, spray gun. I got one the same. This is a great gun. It's um, it's called Critter. You get these on Amazon. But this is a good gun because you don't have the... So you put your stuff in this jar here, like a mason jar. And then it comes right out here. So... It doesn't have to go through the pen or anything. You don't have any tips to clean. So this is a great gun. So I don't know if this, but I don't know if this CTOL is too thick for the gun. So we'll have to see today. And I got paint thinner here. Um, so what I'm gonna start on is, um, I got, I'm gonna paint the leaves like orange, red, and uh, what, just like fall colors. And I'm gonna do the vine dark, uh, dark green. And I'm gonna repaint the shamrocks lighter green. And yes, I'm going to carve a wood spirit on this um, friggin' thing, stump thing here. So first of all, I want to get this painting and stuff done. Okay, so I want to burn inside the cracks of the leaves here. Because it will round the edges a bit. And it will give a highlight once I put the paint on. It's just going to be a quick paint job. Like, this is an outdoor chair. It's going to get weathered. And uh, I've, I put enough time into it already. I think I'm going to leave the block the way it is, the way it's burnt like that, because it's pretty neat, right? So, anyways. Okay, you guys can see there how bright they are now. I know it's going to kill kill some of you. Knowing that I'm going to paint these, but that's, this is my art, don't forget. Oh, get that paint on there, Jordy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. All right. Shit's getting real. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But Jordy, you ruined it. Shut up. It's not for you! Uh. Okay, I'm done uh, antiquing like the flowers and the vine and stuff like I do some of my art kind of thing. I made the uh, shout out to Larry Dibbs Vancouver on. I made the left uh, shamrocks or whatever they're called, the three leaf clover. clover. I made them brighter, a different color, because I want those to stick out, right? Um, so. Anyways, now I gotta finish this uh, sunflower. Still got lots of painting to do, I forgot. And um, boys, hopefully get the chair back together. So there you go, so far. Abra, Kadabra. Holy, just like magic, Calvin's carving. So what do you think about that, Stevie? Steve Kanzora? I think it's all right. I think Colin's wife's gonna love it. So anyways, now it's time to uh, get this friggin' chair back together. Oh boy, I wish I had somebody here to help me because this is, once again, here comes baby Jordy, heavy wood. <laughs> baby! So let's get this chair back together. Let's 
get this sucker together now. Oh boy. Oh, hi, Evil Rick. Notice I'm wearing my uh, Saw Valley shirt from uh, Ryan Cook. Yeah, it was gifted to me. But, anyways, hi. gap there no big deal who cares right um now I just got to do a little bit of cleaning up here just cut this little block out with my chainsaw cut this perfect so it matches up repaint it and uh, same with this piece paint the bolts black the timber bolts black cut this smooth it out yeah but I think it's wicked Okay, so this thing's as sturdy as a fat pig eating lettuce on a farm. So, let's see the back. I know it's hard to see from the uh, tent. Let me close the tent. Okay, so this thing's as sturdy as... St Jesus Christ. Okay, so this thing's as sturdy as sturdy can get, all right? I know the colors seem bright, but we still got to put a couple coats of the seat all on it. Uh, you can see it from the back here. Oh, his wife's going to love that. You see, I just did some extra cuts here too. The chainsaw. Just to liven it up a bit. One there, a couple there. So, now back to chainsaw carving. I've kind of kiboshed the owl idea. Doesn't need owl. I want to carve a wood spirit here. Lots well, that's my trademark, a wood spirit. So I might end up cutting out this leaf. It's kind of a silly looking leaf, anyways, and just carve a wood spirit with his hair blowing back here or something honestly i think i'm gonna cut this flat and then make a table make it get a little piece of wood like this or something and make a table for it i think but anyways i gotta start carving here so abra friggin cadabra So I've been at it for about uh, five hours now today. I got these guys ready to be sprayed. See, he's got a black beak. I painted it black. I burnt him a bit. This is something I had around for a while. It's a flower planter. There's a drain hole in there. Um, just an old piece of cedar. Here's a silly little spirit owl. Okay. And there's the owl that I cooked with uh, Kevin... Kevin Lewis, Uncle Kevin, and Ryan Cook. It's a Ryan Cook body, Kevin Lewis face style. What is what does he call it? Oh, freaking. Uh, 
Scoot Bird, I forget, something owl, I forget the name of the owl, Brian's wife calls it a certain name, um, I forget, anyways, it's ready to be sprayed, this is lighter, that's okay, it's my signature thing, it's raining now, I don't care if it's warm enough, cold enough, I got my mask set up there, so let's see if we can get this, uh, Scooto, let's get this, all this stuff sprayed, I hope the sprayer works. If not, I'm going to have to brush it on. Sorry, did I say Kevin's got a channel, guys? Check out his channel. Uncle Kevin Carves. I'll link a link, leave a link below. He's a professional chainsaw carver. So that owl is just so freaking cool. I like this little guy too, though. But not as cool as this owl. I carved all the rocks and stuff here. Kind of talons here. No talons here, but just something simple. Man, that's so... that That's going in my freaking living room, I'm telling you, right now. Don't forget about this guy okay <laughs> anyways on the spring uncle kevin carves okay so this is the sprayer once again it's the critter you guys get these on amazon it i, I had one i couldn't find mine uh, so I, again repeat pete lent me his so i'm going to fill this up i got to set the pressure on my compressor and uh i hope it works let's hope oh also this is the sea tall okay it's it's a new name it used to be seekins but now it's seco this is sea tall all right it's uh yeah, I got the cedar color. Um, this stuff is it's oil based. Okay, this stuff is the best in my opinion. I don't care what anybody says. If you guys are making an outdoor piece, like I said, this stuff has tint. If you're making an outdoor piece, this stuff lasts the longest. Commercial fishermen use it on their seine boats and stuff like that. So, yeah, this stuff right here. It's got a very rich color. Yep, I'll probably give this three uh, coat uh, chair three coats before I take it to my brother. Okay, so I got it in here now. So I did look up on this, and they said don't dilute it with anything. So like, uh, don't thin it down. So I, maybe you could, but I'm just going by the directions uh, this company suggests. I actually read them. It works! It works! <laughs> I think I need more pressure. to go on thick oh very successful day i'm not so tired because i haven't had to move that wood around that much right no come here no huh ah you little meower anyways it's having a break everything's done let's go check it out Okay, here's these guys yeah this stuff's supposed to go on really thick right so here let me close the tent okay so all different kinds of cedar look how dark this is the cedar that i got from my uh, ryan cook that we carved look how dark that went look at this one's got some lighter colors i love this guy that's why i didn't do any beard hairs on them or anything or 
I just left them simple. Here's the spirit owl. Now to the chair. See how dark it went? Look, you barely even see those uh, shamrocks. Well, I burnt them a bit first. Yeah, you see it. It's, a throne's not supposed to be a big, bright thing anyways, I don't think. Unless it's made out of gold or silver. Let's get a let's stand back and get a visual of it. Oh, I'm super happy. A very successful day. I won't be sitting in it today. I'm going to let it sit for a couple days before I put a, another coat on it. Or maybe you're supposed to do it within 24 hours. Now let's see the back. Yeah, you know what? I could have left the uh, the vines and the flowers um, just normal wood color without painting them, but I don't care. So hopefully they'll look at this from their back deck and then when he's sitting in the chair he can overlook the lake. This has been a lot of work. But you know you don't get better if you don't try. Kind of like tropical plant colors. So I won't be sitting in it today for the end of this video. But maybe uh, when I come back, I'll sit in it. What do you guys think? I love to read the comments. This will be the final video on it. I might show up more in other videos, but I'm going to take a couple days off chainsaw carving. Just let this thing dry out. You know, it's pooling in the seat here. See, let's see how dark it makes it go. Um, I'll wait till I get to my brother's and maybe we can make a shelf uh, tabletop for this. Sorry, Big Al, there's no super big surprises on this one. It just kind of is what it is. I don't want to make, make too much of it because, well, I don't know. I've talked enough. Hope you all good and uh, take care.
Carving Fusion, over and out.